Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my today's video, I am going to be demoing slash reviewing and swatching the Sweet Sensation Lip Cream by Pack Cosmetics. I think they came out with this line probably a month back i think um and that's pretty much when i ordered these and uh, yeah i wanted to swatch them and i wanted to show you guys how they look on my lips of course i don't have the entire collection i think i have about 11 of them so i'm going to swatch them and review them and then give you my thoughts about them as to how i feel and all that stuff so if you want to know what my thoughts are then please keep on watching so first things first let's start with what the particular lipstick is it is a sweet sensation lip cream it says it is intense bold velvet and matte it is about 6.5 grams which is about 0.23 ounces and then it costs about 475 rupees i think there's a sale going on right now i think it's independence day sale that's going on so you know i think they give 10 percent off on that uh, so make sure you go check on their website they actually also have their own website which is amazing so uh yeah now let's move on to the swatching and then I'll give you my thoughts about them. about this lipstick that I have been wearing all day long so let me first start by saying about how I felt it on application so first of all the application was extremely smooth I did not have any trouble applying it on my lips and it doesn't feel like there is lipstick on your lips throughout the day you know actually it feels very very comfortable although I do have to mention that the darker shades actually apply pretty well but the lighter shades especially I think the on fleek shade and a couple other shades actually the lighter ones are a little bit patchy patchy in the sense like the way i would describe it is when you apply it on one go you see how it applies very evenly but this one like the lighter shades uh you have to go once you have to kind of let it dry like semi dry it and then you have to apply one more time so otherwise the lipstick is going to move like if you just take the applicator and put it on your lips and then again take without dipping again if you go again you can see that uh, demarcation over there so you have to kind of take another dip and then go over it otherwise it's just going to be very streaky or patchy so that is my main observation that i've 
well from the lipstick um the lasting power wise i would say about four hours now i wore this lipstick in the morning about 8 30 and this is how it was looking then i checked my lipstick again like 11 o'clock or so it was perfectly fine um then i ate my lunch at about 12 o'clock and that's when after eating my lunch and i ate like a wrap kind of thing um although there was no transfer as such not much transfer on the wrap um i could see that um it kind of just wore off just because of drinking water or uh, eating the wrap and i did feel like it did move around and again of course i this one is basically reapplication and this is how it looks right now i reapplied this lipstick at about 12 o'clock and the time right now is actually three o'clock close to three o'clock so this is how it is looking right now two hours after application my final thoughts are it's very comfortable on application if you don't mind reapplying this again absolutely a very good lipstick but if, but if you're not someone who likes to reapply then i don't think you should go for this uh, lipstick would i use this absolutely i do not mind reapplying it i'm just going to give you like a comparison with the nyx soft matte liquid lipstick and i'm going to show you how it looks so this is the nyx soft matte liquid lipstick and this is in the shade ibiza and i'm going to show you how it applies okay on my so if you see this is ibiza and this is um makeup addict if you see that this is more like on a glossier side and this is more on the matte side so i'd say i mean i like both the formulations honestly like i like both the formulas and actually this is a very good dupe um so yeah i like both the formulations and i mean it's really up to you what you prefer um i'm completely okay with either of these my least favorite was i think uh this shade right here called as on fleek i absolutely don't like it at all like it's absolutely nude uh, so i would say like you know if you're using such a lipstick i recommend you to go on first with a lip liner and then go on with something like this otherwise it's just going to wash you out although i feel like there are a lot of reds and like pings in this and i wish there were more nudes uh which were more like a little bit more neuter for brown girl friendly although they do have probably i just didn't buy it but that's pretty much it you guys those are my thoughts on this uh on these lipsticks and uh, yeah if you're new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet then don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification button so you do get my future updates and also follow me on instagram um and that's pretty much it i'll see you in another video guys thank you so much for watching bye